How's it going guys? My name is Rami. Welcome back to yet another episode of RQ's Garage. Today, we're doing a product review. Today's product, we have our brake fluid tester from King Bolin. Work with this company a lot. They have great, great products for a decent price. We are gonna be testing the viscosity level in our brake fluid in our 2011 Mercedes-Benz E350. This will tell you exactly what's the water content or the water levels in your brake fluid. We all know that brake fluid is hydroscopic, so it accumulates water over time. We wanna make sure our brake fluid is still safe and properly functional. When we have nice cars, we wanna take care of them, we get products like this. This guy has an LCD light, uh, has a, a bunch of different modes to select from. Uh, it's got a flashlight on the probe itself. It'll, it'll tell us exactly the brake fluid level, if it's okay, if it's almost time, or if it's time to replace. So let's unbox it and let's check it out. So, first glance, nice construction. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's a good price for what it is. The probe itself, pretty sturdy. We have some flashlights, and there is the probe meter itself. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's dead, so it's gonna need some batteries in the back. So let's open it up. All right, so these homeboys do not come with batteries. They're gonna need two AAA batteries. And just like that, let's get this boy back on here. So we see the interface right here. Looks like we have our different levels of our brake fluid. That turns on the light. If we press our menu button, it tells us what kind of brake fluid we're testing. Dot three, dot four, dot five point one. S is for the screen the screen light and then we have our power button so we'll, that's, we'll turn it off and then we can turn off that light let's go test out this bad boy we will open the hood of our Mercedes we're gonna locate our brake fluid reservoir boom top right let's go open it up and there's normally a screen in here so we'll take that out Let's put our tester in there and let's check our brake fluid levels. All right, so knowing this is a Mercedes Benz, we are gonna work with dot four fluid. So we're gonna want our brake fluid tester to be at dot four, which we got it right there. And all we gotta do now is put the probe into the reservoir and check our levels. So right now it's jumping between a less than 2%, less than 1%. It's, it's telling us it's in the okay range and it's not in the dangerous range. We really want to be low down here at 0.05 or less because we know that we do not have a lot of water content in our brake fluid. But since it's kind of bouncing around everywhere between that 2% to 1% and I think now it's kind of settled, it's kind of settled on the higher side. Looks like we are at less than 2% and that's not too bad. We know this is a used car. We're not entirely sure the last time the brake fluid was changed on this. Um, my presumption is it's getting pretty close to changing the brake fluid on my Mercedes Benz. But at least with this tester, we know exactly how much water content's in our brake fluid. And this is a great product to use and have just so we don't keep guessing. We know exactly when it's time. So let's be very careful now, take this out. There we go. Just to give it another test, I'm on my mom's 2021 Honda CRV for Hondas. We're gonna switch over to dot three. Found our brake fluid reservoir. Same thing, we have a screen in here. Let's test this thing again. So we are seeing less than 1% on this vehicle. So this thing is pretty diverse. It can check all kinds of cars and different dot fluids because there's different brake fluids depending on the manufacturer. But I'm loving this device. It is really helpful and really, really easy to use. This device was cake. Really easy, really affordable, and honestly a great price for the value. It's very efficient, and I would totally recommend it. If you want to get this bad boy and you're left with this review, the description below has the link for this. Again, I've worked with this company many times, 
and they just are t tried and true. They give great products and they're honestly very affordable for a home mechanic like you and I that just want to learn and want to know, is our brake fluid ready? Do we still have time or we need to replace this brake fluid right now? Once again, guys, thanks for watching my video. If you like this video and it was really helpful, consider smashing that subscribe button. I do YouTube videos every week talking about car products, how to fix stuff, reviews. I've been diversifying my channel and we're just growing from here. If you want to learn more about me and my daily life, go follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description below. But as always, I thank you, I love you, and we'll see you on the next one.